Kelly, it's the moment of truth. We're going to show you the before and after maps. Rob, why don't you explain to Kelly what he's looking at right now? So this is a, a, a map of the signal strength that we mapped out in the building. And the blues and the greens, just like we mentioned before, corresponds to the weaker signal. We would really want to see more of the reds and oranges for the stronger signal. OK, and so now we're going to show you the after map with the boosters turned on. Hey folks, it's Andy Perrar. Handy Andy, on location at High Road Motorsports in Langley, British Columbia. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to boost the cell signal indoors and verify and assess the network performance. To start, I need to go find the GM to find out what kind of issues they were having. So I'm with Kelly Anderson, the GM over here at High Road Motorsports in Langley. Kelly, I understand you had some cell service issues indoors at your facility. Yes, there was quite a few problems being able to get any kind of cell reception within the building um, for, you know, contacting suppliers, uh, other employees, you know, ultimately even customers that are coming into the store. It was very difficult for them to connect with anybody outside the dealership. So you ended up uh, hiring Rob from Fraser Valley Auto Solutions. Yes. It's funny because he's the exact guy that did my house. So I'm really curious to see how he did it differently from what he did indoors at my house to this giant building. So I'm gonna go talk to Rob to see exactly what he did. Right on. So I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Rob Villeneuve from Fraser Valley RF Solutions. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Hey, two years ago, you fixed the cell service inside my home. Is a building like this essentially the same thing? Yeah, pretty much the same, just a bigger booster and more antennas. And I understand you got some new toys that actually assess the network performance. Yeah, I've, uh, I got some cool gear to show you today. Oh yeah, I can't wait to find out. Let's check it out. All right. So Rob, what's this magic gadget you keep talking about? I have the Epic Solutions Prism Scanner. This is it? That's it, that tiny little thing. And so what does it do? Uh, it scans the cellular network on the 4G and 5G networks, as well as the P25 public safety network. And why is it connected to your tablet? Because uh, I use the Ivy Wave mobile survey software and it can do a full analysis and uh, reporting. Cool, well, let's see this in action. All right, let's do it. Okay, Rob, so I see you got everything connected. What are you doing now? Uh, well, when I first arrived, um, I just walked through and, and grabbed measurements of the signal strength. And so you basically literally walk around and get the signal strength in real time. It's scanning right now. And so it's all that information is going into the tablet into that app that you were saying that's right and then i can do a cool report afterwards that shows the sick where it was strong and where it was weak so you don't have to like i would just like grab my phone and say do i have like a call you know but you actually have uh, like this data is, that, this is real data so this is how the pros do it essentially that's right. oh very interesting okay rob what are we looking at here uh, the dots are the data measurements along the path that i walked and then there's just colors around to make it a bit easier to see and then the blue and the green corresponds to a weaker signal as compared to the reds and purples, the hotter signal would be the stronger signal. Well, that's interesting because I would have thought uh, green was good, but you're saying in this case, green is bad. Correct, red would, red would be better. And blue is even worse. Blue is worse than the green. So no wonder Kelly was saying he had bad reception. Now you can visually see it. That's right. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and look at the hardware that you installed, and then we can do an after to see the difference between the before and after. Yeah, let's do it. So Rob, we're in the server room. Where is your booster? Uh, booster's right there. It's the Surecall Fusion 5S. It's good for medium-sized buildings. And I have one antenna up on the rooftop and then three antennas in the indoor area of the building. Cool, so let's uh, take a look at where you put the antennas. Sure. So where are these antennas? I have one panel antenna right here. There's a panel antenna over by the sales desk and I have an antenna over in the warehouse. Let's go take a look at it. Ah, this looks familiar. I know this one. This is the third antenna. Yep. So when it came to like figure out where to put the antennas, how did you determine that? Um, I have a different software package called IB Wave Design and I can place where the, I think the antennas will be and then it'll there's a good prediction tool to show me what the predicted coverage area will look like. That's awesome. So you don't actually have to do it. It'll do a prediction of where what the cell service will look like That's when right. you place it. I love it. So basically the last thing for us to do now, now that everything is running, is that verification survey. Yeah. Let's so do it's it. like the after, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, Rob, I'm gonna plug the amplifier back in and we should see an increase in that cell signal. Yeah, it takes a minute to turn on. There we go. Holy moly. Wow. Look at that. That's wild. Kelly, that must make you uh, give you a lot of peace of mind. Well, right? Absolutely. I mean, this is what we need. 
You know, this is exactly what impressed me when I got it done at my house. The, the proof is in the pudding. This, this is some nice pudding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Rob, so we got the boosters on, the antennas are working. Now you're doing that verification survey. Yeah, I'm doing the post validation to make sure the system's working properly. And so this is part of your report, your final report for the client? Yeah, I can do the before and after measurements. You can see the comparison. You know what I love about this is it's so user friendly. I could see like IT departments at big enterprise using this just to manage their own private network. Yep. So we're almost done this. Now we're gonna do that final post analysis. Yes, we can take a look at the results. All right, let's do it. Kelly, it's the moment of truth where we're gonna look at the before and after. So this is the before map, before you had those boosters on. And Rob, why don't you explain what you're looking so at? So the cooler colors, the blues and the greens, corresponds with uh, a weaker signal, and we would want uh, more of the warmer colors, the red, orange, and yellow for stronger signal. So Kelly, you were right. You can visually see that you had pretty much no cell reception indoors. It was really bad, for sure. So now what we're gonna do is show you the after with the boosters on. Rob, go ahead and show that. Look at that. Is that is massive. It's That's like night day. So Rob, go ahead and explain the colors. What are uh, we looking at? So the reds and the oranges are the, the stronger signal and obviously the green like before is, is a weaker signal. Um, we do still have a green here. That just happens to be the, the parts room and Kelly wasn't too uh, worried about that location and there's no antennas over that way. And so the red, I'm just gonna take a wild guess. That's where the antennas are? Ha, coincidentally, you're right. The, the strongest signal is where the antennas are. Didn't have to be a rocket scientist to know that. Kelly, what does it look like when you know, not only can you take calls, but now you can visually see the improvements that he made? I think the visual is so important. Like, it does give us that confidence. I mean, we see it, you know, when using our cell technology, but it's massive. This is, this is amazing. You know, Rob, I thought it was gonna be like more like tools and stuff. This seemed like a pretty easy kind of fix with the new gadgets that you got. Yeah, it's an awesome gadget uh, and it's pretty simple to use. So if you do have bad cell service, the good news is you can fix it. If you're in the lower mainland Fraser Valley area, you can hire this man over here. Or if you wanna know about the tools, are you gonna show us and allow me to share the tools that you yeah, use? Yeah, of course. I'll put all links in the description below of all the tools that Rob is using. And if you need to buy a BMW bike, well, hey, it's we can, the we can help you out. We can definitely help you out on that. And if you have just general tech problems, you could always ask me. I'm Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, signing out. See you again next time.